Breaststroke is the stroke that I've had to place the most importance on. I think it's a stroke that everyone really enjoys. It's easy and it's comfortable. But when it comes to doing breaststroke at a high level, there are so many nuances. So let's break down the arms and the legs and the head position and the breathing when it comes to breaststroke swimming. So let's focus first on the arms. Now, when it comes to breaststroke arms, I think we've all heard the term draw the pizza and cut it in half, but let's break that down in a lot more specifics. So as our arms shoot forward, it's really important that your hands and your fingers are together, almost in a diamond shape as we shoot forward into the water. The goal is to be a streamlined position, and this almost feels like you're cutting the water in half. So make sure you've got your fingers and hands together as we shoot forward into the stroke. So at the top of the stroke with your arms extended, I like to just allow my arms to float out slightly just beyond the width of my shoulders. In this position, you'll notice my pinky fingers are pointing up and my thumbs are pointing down. This is really important because this is when you're going to get into that catch position. In this extended position, you're really going to now use a lot of power and strength in those arms, lats, forearms, keeping those fingers again nice and tight together to pull yourself up out of the water. Now, this is where it becomes really specific to you individually as a breaststroker. Some people like to pull their elbows right back to their ribs, while other people like to keep their stroke nice and short, only pulling them into their chest area. Whichever preference feels better for you, we still want to focus on the same components of really locking in those underarms, those lats, those pec muscles to pull our elbows nice and tight and in close to our body. And then as my hands connect, I really like to have my pinky fingers coming in connected together, palms facing up as I shoot forward into the stroke. Now, it's really important as you shoot forward into the stroke that you keep everything in the most streamlined position possible. When my arms are fully extended, that's when I like to rotate my hands back over, palms facing the bottom of the pool, and then I can get into the next stroke. So let's now bring our attention to the legs. Having good power in your breaststroke kick is really where you're going to get the most movement and the most forward action to your breaststroke stroke. So I really want to focus on a couple of key components here. So with your legs fully extended, the first thing we want to do is bend our knees and bring our heels right into our bottom. When our feet are as high up as possible, that's where we're going to turn out our ankles. Now, this turnout position is absolutely vital. I can't harp on about this enough. So we've brought our legs back into our bottom. We're going to rotate our ankles so that our feet are out in a frog-like position. From this position, we're really going to focus on getting a lot of power in our inner thighs. Okay, now this is the key, really pushing them around in a circular motion, engaging those inner thighs and bringing them back down to an extended position. Now, what a lot of people miss in this last part of the kick, which is the most important part, is really focusing on bringing the feet right together at the end of the stroke. A lot of people don't finish the kick motion properly. They kick around and then let their feet and legs go like jelly. But what I want you to really focus on is kicking around and almost snapping those ankles together. Really snap those feet, lock on the inner thighs and really bring them together as tightly and as sharp as possible. That's the real, real key here, guys. So a couple of drills you can really focus on to develop this motion and have good awareness of your legs in the breaststroke kick is by doing it on your back. So simply in the backstroke position, arms extended into a streamlined position, and we're going to just go through the breaststroke kicking motion. Now, what some of you will notice here is that your knees will break really far out of the water, and this is something we don't want to do. We want to make sure our knees are always under the surface of the water. So when we bring our feet back towards our bottom, really, really engage those hamstrings and make sure those knees don't break the surface of the water. When we're up in that position, really rotate those feet as we spoke about and really kick around with power, really focusing on snapping those feet together. Once we've nailed this on our back, then we can flip over onto our stomach and utilize a kickboard and really practice our breaststroke kick in this position. Again, really make sure that those feet don't break the surface of the water. All of this breaststroke kick should be done under the water and at no point should you notice your feet or your knees or anything breaking the surface of the water. So really keep that in mind as you practice a couple of these drills and I know this is definitely going to help you have a more effective, more efficient and a better technique to your breaststroke kick. The last part of the breaststroke stroke I want to bring attention to is the head position. 
The only thing to really keep in mind here is to make sure that your head isn't dropping too low. Again, making sure the eyes are looking directly at the bottom of the pool, not back at your feet or your knees or at somebody swimming behind you. Really keep that head in line, in position. If your head drops too low, you're going to create a lot of drag and a lot of resistance to your breaststroke stroke. So simply just make sure your head is in alignment with your shoulders. It's not tilted too far forward or too far backwards. And that's really all you need to focus on when it comes to head position for breaststroke. I really hope some of these tips have helped you because this is the stroke that I've had to work the hardest on.